I wanted to talk to you about something very important in English, which is, of course, your accent. Your accent. Because I remember, was it Friday or Monday? I had a conversation and that person said, my accent is so bad. It's horrible. And I'm like, well, I understand you. So it's of no problem. But there are people that want to improve their accent. You, there are people who would like to improve their accent. So I just wanted to give you a few tips. Because we are learning in English online. I wanted to give you some online tips to improve your accent. And I would say whatever you do, the thing you have to start off with is just get a baseline if you don't know what it means a baseline is where you are now get a baseline so you know this is where i am so you can see your progression right you can see yourself getting better that's the idea just want to want to know where you are where you are what kind of baseline depends on you because your level is different Everybody here today, your level is different. Your accent is different. So the baseline is simply, where are you now? How do you do that? Take your phone and record yourself speaking for a minute. Just talk about anything. Doesn't really matter. Just talk for a minute. Record some audio or a video. Doesn't really matter. So you know where... Uh, at what level your English is at when it comes to your accent. Um, this is important. Knowing where you are right now is important. Otherwise, you don't know what you can improve. You need to know. Be quiet. You need to know what you need to improve because everybody has a different kind of deal going on, right? Some people struggle with the TH sound, some people struggle with the R sound. You need to find where you need to improve your accent. Don't listen to anyone else. Although I would give the suggestion, I would give a suggestion that you can search for, for example, how can a Spanish speaker improve their accent? You know, generalization, just being general about something. Um, I'm writing it down. Or so you can search up videos like how does how do Indonesians improve their English? Just specifically focusing on, you know, your native language, just a little bit general and record your own voice. Know where you are. After that, there are different things you can do to improve because like I said, everybody learns in a different way. Everybody learns in a different way. So I would say, Whatever you like to do, if it's listening to music or watching movies or just watching videos on YouTube, um, pick one. Pick one that fits you the best. Or if it's talking to people, of course. <laughs> but at this point, because we are focusing on improving your accent, at this point, the most important thing to do is to listen to native speakers, of course. Why? Why is it important to listen to native speakers? So you know what the sound is, right? So you know what the sound is. And uh, native speakers, again, is a very general thing, like native speakers. What do you mean, native speakers? So I would suggest, no matter if it's a song, if it's a movie, if it's an actor, if it's just a person, a friend you're talking to, pick a native sound that you like, that you want to be like. 
pick a native sound that you want to be like, right? Is it American English? Which kind of American English? is it is it british english which kind of british english is it is it aussie which kind of aussie is it it doesn't really matter but pick an accent that you like okay because then you have to start remember your recording where you are right now you have kind of an idea how to improve your language and you have a goal you know where you want to go and then it's stippling out the path. You always start with the beginning and the end. Because then you can measure your progress. This is the only way to know if you're getting better. Because sometimes you're like, I've been learning for three months. Am I getting better? I don't know. But if you have to start recording, you listen to yourself. Maybe after a month, you record your voice again. You're like, oh. I do sound different. I do. Because I have been making videos for three years. But I always think I sound kind of the same. But I watch my oldest videos back. Even the oldest one on TikTok almost a year ago. I sound different. I sound different. My voice changes. My intonation changes. For whatever reason. So have a beginning and have an end. That's important. I'm from the Netherlands. An English learner just like you. Have a beginning, have an end. And then how you get to the end depends on you. But there are always some ways that work better than other ways, obviously. Um, one big thing that you need is, of course, to review, review, review. <laughs> you gotta check yourself. Nobody's gonna do it for you. People will only say, oh, your accent is quite good. Oh, your accent is quite, you can improve your accent. They would never say, hey, you should be trying this and this and this. If they're not a teacher. Thank you so much, Wall. Appreciate the support. If they're not a teacher, you gotta check yourself. Check yourself. Because nobody's gonna do it for you. So I would suggest when you're practicing, just sometimes record your own voice. I know you don't like your own voice. That doesn't matter. You're gonna stop yourself like, I don't like my own voice, so I'm not gonna review. That's just dumb, okay? That would just be dumb. Record it. I know you don't like it. Who cares? That's not the point if you like or don't like your voice. The point is your accent. You're trying to improve your accent. Thank you so much, Will. I appreciate all the support. So check yourself, record your voice, record a video. That's up to you. Thanks for all the gifts, guys. But check yourself. But Lucas, you might be asking, how can I check myself? I don't know what is right, what is wrong. Well, like I said, you got to figure out, first of all, what your problem is. Because you can speak English. People understand you, but your accent isn't great. Where do you struggle? What's the problem? What's the deal, yo? What's the deal, yo? <laughs> I'll just type down, what's the deal, yo? Where are you making the mistakes? For example, I make mistakes sometimes with a combination like L or B or R. Because in my native tongue, I use a hard R. The rrr. So sometimes I make this mistake in English where I mispronounce it. I also, for example, like to say idea, like with a soft R at the end. It's not native, but it's just my accent, right? So you got to figure out, okay, where am I making these mistakes? What is the difference between my start 
and where I want to go between that guy I'm listening to. What's the difference? It can be so many things. I can't name all of them. But it could be in, in basic words, uh, basic letters, like the R or the TH combination or the G or the GR or the CH or the SH. It can be many different pronunciations that you struggle with. An S, it can be anything, like I said. It can be so many different things. It really depends on you. So you listen to figure this out. You listen to your own recording, the recording that you made, the one minute recording. Listen to yourself. And then you listen to the native speaker. Where do I sound different? Is it not only letters? Is it the speed? Is it the intonation? Is it the syllables? Is it the grammar? Is it the... It could be anything. Like, okay, he is speaking in one minute. I am speaking in 1.30 with the same amount of words. I should probably speak a little faster. Or... Am I using a lot of filler words like uh, uh, like so? Yes, you know, am I repeating myself or am I repeating myself? Figure out the difference because you cannot learn English if you just ask yourself, how do I learn English? Nobody can answer the question. How do I learn English? Because it's too big. You need to make it smaller. Even how do I improve my accent is too big. How do I improve my accent is too big. You need to make it smaller. How do I improve my pronunciation of the TH? That is a thing you can solve. You cannot solve improve my accent. It's too general. Um, I'm struggling with the R sound. That's something you can improve because it is specific. I am speaking too fast. That's something you can improve. So find your mistake, not how do I learn English? That's not good enough. Find your specific issue to improve your accent. In my case, it can be different things, but I like my accent like this. It's not perfect, not at all, but I like it. It makes me feel comfortable like this. And sometimes I wish maybe I, my voice is a little deeper, but it's getting deeper. Sometimes I make a dumb grammar mistake. It can be many different things, but Find your specific problem. Because when you have a specific problem and you know where you are right now, you know where you want to go, guess what? You can take the steps to improve it. You can take the steps to improve it. And to get from where you are to native takes many of these small problems to fix. It's not like, okay, I fixed the TH, my accent is perfect. No, it's a, a lot of small things. Like, I should speak slower. I, need, I should speak with 120 words a minute, for example. Or um, my pronunciation of long words, I struggle with. I often can't catch my breath. Then you fix that too. Small things to fix, step by step by step. That's why you cannot learn English fast, because there is no one in the world that instantly learns English fluently. It takes improving your accent, grammar, conversations, confidence. It's all these things that make up English, right? It's all these small things that make up your English. So no rush, take something small, try to improve it. And I would just say, do at least something every single day. 
And you don't even have to challenge yourself every day, but do something related to English every single day. Don't skip a day because you're not going to get the day back. That day is lost forever. Even just five minutes of English in a day. If you're like, Lucas, I'm too busy. No, you're not. Do English on the toilet. I really don't care. Do English on the bus while you're going to work. Do English five minutes before you sleep. You can sleep five minutes shorter. <laughs> but try to do it every day. That's an extra tip on the side. Toilet is a great thing. Except in Indonesia, if you have the not sitting toilet, it's going to be tough. It's going to be a little hard. <laughs> I think, uh, I hope that gives you an idea how to improve your accent. And talking about what we can do to improve, we'll do in a few minutes, but take a break. Are you, do you have any questions about that? Do you have any questions about what I just said? So to quickly review, record your own voice so you have a start and find some general tips to improve your accent and have a goal. What accent do you like? Find an actor, find a musician, find a English teacher on TikTok whose accent you like. Put it up there, put yours here. And then um, remember, you gotta check yourself. You gotta improve yourself, support yourself. <laughs> Figure out the specific mistake you make when it comes to accents. Is it words? Is it speed? Is it grammar? Where am I making the mistakes? And then listen to yourself, listen to a native speaker to see how you can improve because you can improve specific mistakes. You can improve specific mistakes, but you need to know the mistake first. You need to know the challenge first, right? Where you can improve. And then you just go up step by step by step. I'm not going to explain grammar right now. That's not the topic. I realize I make mistakes 87% of the time when I speak English. This is a general problem. That doesn't say anything. You can't fix. I make mistakes while I speak. When? while you're speaking are you making mistakes how are you making mistakes while you're speaking speaking is this if you say yeah my speaking i need to improve it what within the speaking do you need to improve is it the speed is it filler words is it the grammar is it the pronunciation of letters what is it just speaking is not specific enough <laughs> Pronunciation, pronunciation of what? Pronunciation is still too big. Smaller, smaller. Which pronunciation? Long words, short words, basic words, tenses, syllables, intonations. <laughs> Make it specific. <laughs>